In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the footer credits in the storefront theme, which is a free theme from WooThemes that's available in the WordPress theme repository. I'm on WooThemes uh, site right now for the theme and uh, you can get an idea of what it looks for. It looks like it's mainly for uh, having an e-commerce store and it integrates really good with their, wow, almost a million downloads. Uh, it integrates with their WooCommerce e-commerce platform for WordPress. So let's uh, get to this one. So first I'm going to download the theme. I'm just going to go to themes, add new, and I'm going to do a search for storefront like that. And here it is. I'm just going to click on install. And then I'm going to activate it. And let's see, here's the front end. Let me do a refresh. And so here's the site default look. And when you scroll down, you have this storefront designed by Wood Themes, and you can't get rid of it. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it right now. So we have that. Uh, what we need to do is add what's called a custom function to the theme. Now the best way to do this is to copy and paste this custom function into a child theme. And I have videos on creating child themes and all that. Uh, but I'm going to show you a different way to do it in this video. And uh, here it is actually. We just need to kind of copy and paste this right here into your themes function file. But I'm going to show you an easier way of doing that. So let me just move that back out. We're gonna add a plugin right here. Now I made a video on this called how to add a custom function to your WordPress site. So we wanna add a plugin called My Custom Functions. And then hit enter and here is the plugin. Let's go ahead and install it. So this is gonna allow you to add custom functions to your website that will change certain aspects of it. And uh, it's really newbie friendly and that's why I wanted to show you modifying these credits with this tool. So, all right, I'm gonna activate the plugin. Now I'm going to click on settings and this will take me to the settings of the plugin. But you can also go under appearance to custom functions. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste it in right here. So let me pull that back over. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to copy it. And then let's get rid of it. I'm going to go click into this box, go down a few lines and paste it in. So there's my custom function. And you can actually get a copy of this. Uh, just go in the show notes below here on YouTube. Or if you're on my website, that's where they'll actually be. But in the show notes below, there'll be a link to take you to the site that act, uh, the site on the page on my site that actually has this custom function. So, all right. Now let's look at this a little bit. This right here um, is what's going to, well, this right here is what's going to remove it. And this is what's going to add our custom one in. And here is our custom footer credit. So right here is where you can start typing things. So let's see, site, I'll put uh, WP Crafter. And uh, this right here is going to automatically pull the current year so you don't have to keep updating and maintaining that footer credit. So nothing's worse than going to a website. It's 2016. It says 2012. It just doesn't look right. This is going to keep you up to date without having to do anything. But let's add a little bit more flair because a lot of people like their footer credit to say their start date to the current year, start date year to the current year. Um, so it looks like they've been around a little longer. So let's add that for me to the, 2013. Let's uh, go like that. So if this works, let's cross our fingers. It's going to show this. It's and then it's going to show this year to the current year, whatever it is. All right. Let's see. I'm going to click on update custom functions here on the right. And it says custom functions updated successfully. I'm going to go here. I'm back on the front end of the site and do a refresh. And let's scroll down. Hopefully it worked. Hopefully it worked. Ha ha. It worked perfectly. So before it uh, had all that woo theme stuff. But this we've got copyright wpcrafter.com and we've got our year of start date. And we've got this right here. 2015. Actually, it's not right. It should be showing 2016. Not sure why it's doing that. Maybe it's because this is running on my local machine. Uh, so I don't have an answer for that. Um, I'm just going off the cuff in this video. Uh, what you could do is you could, you know, get rid of this right here and just 
put in, if it doesn't work for you, the auto pulling in the current year and just put whatever uh, the end year is. So I'm gonna put 2016. I'm gonna click on update custom function. It's updated again. I'm gonna go here and do my refresh. So there's the 2016. You could obviously put in whatever you want here. But that's odd. I don't know why it said 2015 and two, when it should have said 2016. But that it's not a problem with the function. That's probably more a problem of how I have my development uh, set up here. So anyways, you now know how to do it. Uh, you can go and if the year pulls in perfect, sweet. If not, you saw how I just changed it to be whatever you wanted it to be. And that's good that I did that. So you got to see how to, if you didn't want the year, how to get rid of that too. So essentially you just can change anything after this little C. You can put in whatever you want here. So anyways, um, that's it. Yes, you made it to the end of the video, which must mean that it brought value to you. So can you go ahead and click on the thumbs up down below? That'll help me out. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to click on the subscribe button right down below me. Now, if you want to find me on the internet, I've got a special Facebook group that I set up for people just like you that want answers to their WordPress website. And that's where you can find me, interact with me, and ask me questions. So go ahead and click on the blue button down below to join that special Facebook group. Now, I never want you to leave empty-handed, so I've created a free video course for you called the three steps to WordPress success in this video course you're gonna really learn how to make your website shine get the results that you want and have it really stand out from the crowd so to access that free video course go ahead and click on the link over here on the right you can also find me at wpcrafter.com make sure you check out my 60 minute website challenges those are very popular and you can find those on the website as well hey thank you so much for watching this video i make these videos just for you and i hope you watch the next one